happy Thanksgiving to those who celebrate. It is Thursday. I almost said August. Why did I almost say August? November 24th and it is Thanksgiving Day. I am hosting, okay, which means I am about to start cooking. It's only going to be me and my mom though because apparently I am unhappy, self-absorbed. What else? Let's see. On a high horse embarrassing unhappy like i mentioned desperately need help selfish over the top egotistical mm, again self-absorbed draining like that one draining draining person and the list goes on and on so it looks like it's just gonna be me and my mom which i'm totally fine with because the more leftovers the better and just because it's gonna be me and my mom does not mean that i'm going to be skimping out on any sides we're having it all okay we're having the full spread the full shebang if you will and it is currently 8 30 a.m and i have to get started so i have been up since 3 a.m i could not sleep i did go to bed early though like i was fast asleep by 10 p.m but then i woke up at 3 could not fall back asleep so i finally got out of bed at 4 30 and i just swept washed my floors one more time because when i like to cook a big dinner like this i like my house to be as clean as possible not that we're going to be cooking on the floor or anything but you know maybe it's like an italian thing you gotta like clean all the counters again the floors the windows you already know I am ravenous right now, so I'm gonna make some cinnamon sticks, I think. I bought them for tomorrow. I usually like to do like a fun breakfast the day after Thanksgiving, but I'm starving. So I'm gonna have that in a few minutes. That, while I, I feel like you guys are so low, so low. See like your, your titty level with me right now. I'm putting you guys up on a cardboard box so I don't have to break my back bending down. Oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys or maybe you guys noticed a difference, but I got a new lens for my camera. I have the Sony ZV E10 and I was using the stock lens that came with it, but it was always super zoomed in. And then I would like be so proud and like excited to edit a vlog. And then I would upload the content and it was like my face in the camera like this the entire time my fat face in the camera just like this like you couldn't see anything else around me it was just me like this hey and every time i would transfer the footage over to my computer and actually see it on my editing software i would go to the sunken place i'd be like oh my gosh i can't upload this you could see my dingleberries in my nose like so i got a new lens so let me know what you guys think about it but i'm doing a lot of chocolate see i can't multitask let's make these cinnamon sticks so this is what I'm going to be making. I'm so excited. I normally don't have anything sweet for breakfast ever. So this is a real treat. These are the Pillsbury mini cinna sticks and it says that they're air fryer ready. I've never made these in the air fryer before. Well, I've never really made these ever. But the last time I did make them, I made them in the oven. I don't know if I'm willing to take that risk because if they come out terrible, no, we're making them in the oven. <laughs> oh my god my finger also i'm gonna be wearing gloves throughout this because i do have a boo-boo i burned myself and it's closed but i hate this part 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 sometimes it pops and sometimes it doesn't okay ready 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 I didn't scream, did you scream? <laughs> it's glove time. So like I was saying, I burned my finger. It's not an open wound anymore, but it's still like healing. And I do have a Band-Aid on it. And I'm only cooking for me and my mom at the end of the day, but I want to be as sanitary as possible. So I'm just gonna throw on these gloves. And let's get to work. I wish you guys could like see what I'm doing. That would be, it would be so awesome. It would be so cool. Okay. Can I use pan to grease it? Ah, there's, there's nothing in here. Ugh. Maybe I can grease it with just like unsalted butter. Let's do that. All right then. My oven takes forever to heat up, which is 
very annoying. I cannot wait until my apartment starts smelling like yummy Thanksgiving dinner. That's one thing I love about living in an apartment. Like you go out into the hall on Thanksgiving and you can smell everybody's cooking and it smells so good usually. But this morning when I went to take my trash out, it smelled like burnt ass. Like somebody really fucked up their Thanksgiving. Thoughts and prayers to them, but it just smelled like booty hole. All right, I just greased this pan all the way the up. Ooh. And now I'm just going to, oh no, I already messed this up. Oh, I'm getting icing everywhere. This is, oh God, damn it. Ugh. Okay, so now these aren't rolls, they're sticks. So, oh, okay. These are cute. There's 24 of them. Wait, hold on. I don't want to do this the wrong way. Oh, cute. These are these are really cute. Okay, so let me just pull. Oh, how annoying is my washing machine when it goes off? Like I already know this stuff is done, and it scares my dog. And now she's running away. This is not two inches apart, but I don't care. <laughs> it's all gonna taste the same. Oh, okay. So now as we wait for the oven to preheat, which honestly I'm doing myself a favor because. It has to preheat for the turkey anyway, so. Damn, I need to pull up the recipe on my phone. Well, I just touched the cinnamon sticks with that, so it's fine. My mom, oh shit. My mom texted me, she's like, I woke up a little later than expected. I expected her to wake up a little later than expected because she's never on time. Like my sister gets that from her. Like they are always like very late. They will set a time for themselves to be here. Like my mom was like yesterday, she was like, I'll be there at 10 a.m. And I'm like, okay. Like, I'm gonna be cooking, you could keep me company, whatever. And now she's like, I woke up a little bit later than expected. I knew that you were gonna wake up later than expected because you always do this, but it's okay. It's not like we're gonna be eating any earlier anyway. Now I have to look up my turkey recipe online because I get the entire kit, like the entire box from HelloFresh and they have two Thanksgiving menus, one for turkey and one for beef tenderloin, and they sent me the wrong recipe by accident, which would normally not be a big deal because all the recipes are online, like on their website. However, there's one page in the recipe called the game day plan, which is the reason why I order HelloFresh to begin with, because if I wanted a HelloFresh meal, I could just go out and buy all the ingredients and then just use the recipes. But not only do I like the convenience of getting the ingredients delivered to my door, I need that game day recipe. And when I called customer service, nobody knew what I was talking about. They kept on sending me links to the individual recipes. And I'm like, no, I really need this page. I'll show you what I'm talking about, hold on. Finally got a rep to send me the right PDF, but it's like this. It's like, get it all done in five hours. It gives you like a game plan. So you're not cooking one thing at a time and like cooking for 15 hours straight. So first things first, it says after your morning coffee, wash and dry produce, okay. Bring turkey to room temp and season. This is where it's going to get really fun because I gag every single month here. This is so nasty, this is the worst part. Okay, so like let me, you know what I should really do? I should put my iPad up so I could see the recipe, but okay. So step one, thaw if you haven't already. Follow the turkey thawing instructions according to our turkey thawing guide. I already did all of that. You have to like thaw it in the fridge during the week. Prep, line a baking sheet with paper towels. Using kitchen shears, remove and discard outer packaging from thawed turkey. Place turkey on prepared sheet. Got said baking sheet. It's a 14 pound turkey for two people. Imagine that. Okay, wait, I think I have to put this down okay. okay let's just let's just do this Ooh. i don't know if that was like supposed to be like that <laughs> okay everything is fine <sighs> what is all the oh my gosh all this juice Why is it so juicy? Oh god. Oh, I wish I did 
that in the sink instead. next year just just open that in the sink okay i think i'm supposed to find like the neck and stuff oh my god okay 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 oh, oh my god oh my god i'm pulling it out there's like a packet my hands are so cold too We could, we could definitely do this. We could do this. We could, we could do this. My hands are so cold though. What, is there like a, what else? I'm in the bird. My hands are so cold. Oh my God, my hands are so cold. Is that it? Isn't there like a, I don't know if everything is out, dude. How do you know if everything is out? Like, is there like normally like a bag? Is there like normally like a okay, I'm, okay, okay, I'm going in, I'm going in. I didn't see a bag or anything. I I could have sworn in past years there was like a bag. I'll take a spoon and see if I could. Okay, so now I'm just supposed to let it sit for like an hour at room temp. Uh, Queenie, you, you gotta take your pee. I'm gonna let it sit for an hour at room temp and put the cinnamon sticks in the oven. And yeah, I'll be I'll be back. Okay, this is what my apple crisp is looking like before it goes into the oven, and this is what my mess looks like already. Imagine, imagine, and that's with me using a cleanup bag. So, yeah, time to work on the turkey. It's time to season this big bitch. So I'm supposed to put shallot in here, all this garlic. I'm supposed to put this garlic everywhere garlic butter but i don't think this is gonna be enough butter for me like i really like butter so i'm gonna massage this in seasoning it isn't as bad as taking out the neck and everything i will say that i could season all day you know but removing the gizzards or whatever not my thing not not my thing we like her extra buttery this is so sensual it's kind of like freaking me out i don't know how the kitchen gets like this immediately after i clean it i swear i turn my back and little elves come out of the cabinets and they're like <laughs> just like everything up um but my turkey she's buttered my apple crisp is almost done let's see how she looks Ooh. and i'm about to move on to the next step i've changed my gloves probably 10 times but i think that was it for like the stuff that i had to have my hands in i think everything else is like stove top throwing stuff into a pot and not necessarily like me massaging stuff you know so lord let's keep it pushing so the apple crisp is coming out of the oven Ooh. now i'm just prepping this creamy broccoli situation i cut up my broccoli i don't know why i'm taking you step by step it's not like you're gonna cook this but i don't know it's just kind of like fun to feel like i'm hanging out with you guys and you know spending thanksgiving with you because i don't have like a big family so yeah but i just called my mom and she's finally leaving 
so that's great <laughs> she was supposed to be here a lot earlier so we could watch the parade together that's what i have on tv right now but i think by the time she gets here the parade is going to be over <laughs> so there's that okay it's time to put the bird in the oven this is the last time you guys are going to see the bird until she's done um so let's put some good vibes into it okay may she be juicy and flavorful and the skin be crispy all right i don't know if anybody else does that but my family always makes the sign of the cross okay all right what time is it it is 11 08 i'm gonna set my timer for an hour Hera was complaining that you guys are always up in my face and i'm still doing it even with a wide-angled camera houseway now we can make the broccoli and the other things. Yeah, 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 right. No, I'm not going to take you step by step because you're not going to be making this. So I'll see you in a few. Wait, but I already have one thing done. Look at the apple crisp. Ooh. She looks delectable. All right, we're making progress here. Happy Thanksgiving. Mama's here. Yep. Party of two. <laughs> and queefy. The turkey is out of the oven and it looks so so good. Mom is putting together the sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, sweet potato casserole. Mm -hmm. My specialty. And then I am prepping the stuffing and the stuffed shells in here. The broccoli is in the fridge. What else do we have? A lot going on here. Back hurts. My neck, my back, my pussy, and my back. <laughs> my mom is losing it. <laughs> Look, look at the cupcakes she made. They look like areolas. <laughs> I will not take responsibility. <laughs> You're red velvet. Shame on you. Shame you on you. Looking like titties. You guys, I am so tired. What time is it? I'm still going. I'm still going. It is almost four o'clock. The sun is setting. I'm almost done. I have everything except for one thing, two things, uh, three things set out because the cranberry sauce is in the freezer getting chilled. Then the sweet potatoes are in the oven so the marshmallows could melt and then the biscuits and then everything else is done. We're definitely going to have to microwave because everything got ready everything was ready i can't even talk everything was ready at different times but yeah that is what we're working with right now nala is waiting for her turkey you waiting for your turkey your turkey dinner your turkey supper she's waiting for her turkey supper you love turkey turkey meats do you want a turkey meats you want turkey supper, chicken, turkey, chewy, bone? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. It's been 84 years. Okay, so my mom is off the bowl, so we're gonna write what we're thankful for for Thanksgiving. These little cards came with the Hello Fresh box. I'm thankful for. Don't think too hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, my beautiful daughter Angela, my beautiful and kind daughter Angela, and her baby Nala girly. Perfect. That's okay. amazing. Oh, nice. Super cute. That is so nice. Super cute. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, my turn. Does Nala Mine get is... one as well? I was going to do that. So I'm saving the best for last. And now you just blew it in front of my followers. <laughs> I'm thankful for my subbies. You what? My subbies. What's a subby? Everyone that's watching this right now. Oh, how sweet. I'm Sorry. thankful for you guys. Because without you, I would not be here right now. It's com kind of comfortable. What are you thankful for? Chewies? You're thankful for <laughs> Chewies? Oh, Nala's thankful for Chewies. You guys, it's 
done. The turkey looks amazing. Stuffing with chicken sausage, cheesy broccoli, biscuits, cranberry sauce, stuffed shells, homemade gravy, mashed potatoes, and thanks to my mom, sweet potatoes. What's it called? Can you do a casserole? Sweet potato casserole. That's how she said. Sweet potato casserole. I'm ready to eat. This is, this looks so good. Oh my gosh. And look, look at the sunset too. It looks so pretty. The sun is setting on my meal that I worked so hard on. I can't wait anymore. I gotta eat. This is, this looks crazy. Time to carve the turkey, Lou. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Let's just pull it apart with our hands like beasts. Oh, wow. Take a look at this. Sexy. Oh, my Lord, Sexy. my goodness. Sexy. My plate. Look at my low vibrational plate. Ange, what did you put in here? What? Did you? I don't think you took out the stuff. <gasps> The innards that that's it was on up. the other like side stuff? yeah they always stuffed by the neck part inside the cavity by the I see a bag or anything i i could have sworn in past years it was like a bag Stomach. well we and found it neck. guys we found it <laughs> well what does that mean doesn't mean anything right no no I mean, everything else is still good it's like the heart and the liver look well, it's, it's in the bag more flavor <laughs> Honestly, I love that that happened. I should have put that on your dish. Ew. <laughs> I was looking for it because I took out the neck and all of that, and I was like, where's the, where is the bag? It was. <laughs> Man, I really did it this time. So let's just, do you want to eat this? No, do you? That, that looks like I the liver. I can't believe it. Ooh. Ooh. You're supposed to take this out and maybe chop it up and fry it to add it to your stuffing. Well, this is going to be the best How turkey ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry at this weight, Ray. I'll eat anything right now. I don't even want to. I was literally scooping out the neck and like feeling around. I was like, I, I don't know where this bag is. Like, did they not put it in? No, they did, all right. And I found it. Carving the turkey. <laughs> I wish I could find money like I found this treasure in your turkey just now. The challenge. You put the testicles in there. Okay, would you it's eat all, that now? It's all heated up too, it's if, good to go. If I give you like a thousand dollars, would you eat that? No. That makes my plate extra low vibrational. <laughs> <laughs> Get my plate. Mm. Mm. Look at it. Okay, I'm gonna make up a dish for myself and I'm not gonna eat the Look dishes. at it. Oh. Delicious. Should we just throw that in the garbage? Yeah. Uh, and I'll eat on the floor. First bite of my plate. Should I have mashed potatoes? Mmm. Stuffing. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. Good? Mm-hmm. I was thinking of sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are really good. Most it's five hours was. later. I took a nice long nap. Place. And now I'm about to eat oh. some dessert. We've got apple crisp, Oreo cheesecake, and Ariola cupcakes. How do you feel, Lou? I feel very, very full. Same. Tired. She's helping me clean up. I can't believe I made all this food for two people. Oh, Can't believe it, but I did it. Uh, I told you she wasn't coming. But anyway, I'm gonna have to see you guys tomorrow because I'm probably gonna wind up falling asleep again. Say bye to the vlog, Lou. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. See you tomorrow.
Good morning, you guys. Happy Black Friday. It is so dark in here. Hold on. As you could see from the disaster behind me, I did nothing last night. Like, not one singular dish was washed. This is probably why I'm still single. Like, I started to rethink. Like, as I was standing on my feet, I, was, I must have been on like hour four or five, okay, of cooking, slaving over a hot stove. I was like, you know what? <laughs> This whole housewife thing may not be for me because god damn i was suffering my feet were swollen i had cankles i mean i always have cankles but they were on a whole nother level yesterday and when my mom left last night immediately knocked out immediately immediately i left everything out not the food but like i'm talking about like the dirty dishes not one singular dish was washed last night so I just put a load in and I have I definitely have one more load and I have a phobia with dishes and don't even try to come for me calling me a spoiled brat or anything like that. I always had to wash dishes growing up. I always hated touching them like soggy food. No, no, we don't touch soggy food in this house. I, I have gloves. Okay. I have gloves to transfer the dishes to the dishwasher. I'm not even washing the dishes by hand and I wear gloves. It's a phobia, okay? It's not me being spoiled. It's an actual like, eh. like there's food in the sink right now. I can't even look, I can't even look. Happy Black Friday, by the way. I started to look at the sales while I was laying in bed. And here's my thing with Black Friday. I am always so afraid to bite the bullet and place orders on Black Friday because traditionally, Black Friday is for in-store deals and Cyber Monday is for online deals. Travel Tuesday is for anything travel related and so on and so forth. But I feel like every year the Black Friday sales start earlier and earlier, but I'm starting to notice a trend too where that's not the best deal that they'll have. Like they'll start their Black Friday deals on like Monday, right? Or Sunday. It was Sunday for a lot of brands this year. Earlier and earlier every year, they'll be like, everything is 20% off pre-Black Friday deals. Then Black Friday comes and it's 25. And then Cyber Monday is like 30. And so what I did was Google brands that I was interested in buying, like from, to see what their Cyber Monday deals were last year to compare. Because there's a chance it could be the same it could be different, it could be better, but I kind of wanted to see what they did for Black Friday versus Cyber Monday. Some brands, it's the same deals all throughout. And they're like, you gotta get it when the given's good because once everything is sold out, sold out, and then you're asked out. So that's just kind of where I'm at. There's certain things that I wanna buy. Like I wanna buy, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's base, B-E-I-S, base, base luggage. It, it's this brand right here. I want to get the weekender tote because I am a carry on girly and I've been wanting this tote for so long. Queenie, what are you doing? I've been wanting this tote for so, so long because it has a compartment on the bottom for like shoes and stuff. And right now, yeah, it's called the weekender and then they have a mini weekender, but I think I want the full size. Why is the mini weekender more expensive? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So I'm looking at like the bag, right? And they have, this is not sponsored. This may sound sponsored, but it's not. I wish I was sponsored. So I would have to buy it on Black Friday or Second Monday. But they have this thing where you could like change your height and also your weight to see how the bag is gonna look next to you. So I'm 5'6 and I'm a size six. So this is, oh, that's embarrassing. Skims just texted me. My phone doesn't go off unless it's a reservation or skims so you could put like if you're a size 14 like what it would look like next to you and like if you were shorter like this is so cool oh my god okay this is what it looks like and this compartment on the bottom like everyone always raves about how they fit so many pairs of shoes and when i travel i hate checking the bag um because i'm always afraid it's gonna get lost i am buying air tags for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, that's also on my list. I've just been making a list over the past few weeks of things that I want um, or need or have needed for a long time. Um, 
instead of just like buying whatever today because you could really go crazy and wind up wind up spending money that you don't have but i'm just confused as to why the mini the convertible mini weekender what makes it convertible whatever i'll figure it out i'm gonna do a black friday cyber well it's gonna turn into a cyber monday haul because i don't know if i'm actually gonna buy anything today because i just feel like if this is 25 percent off today what's it gonna be on monday because i'll be sick if it's 40 percent off on monday because then i would buy it at 40 percent off and then just return this and i hate returning stuff i also want to get house slippers i feel like such an old fogey because everything that i want is so like adult <laughs> i want to get house slippers i was thinking about those house slippers yesterday i was like my feet would not be hurting this bad if i was wearing some house shoes um and the ones that i had from amazon lasted all of 10 minutes i'm so glad i never posted them or added them to my storefront the furry crisscross ones that everybody has when i tell you they lasted one week before they got worn down to the sole i'm like there's no way that this was me okay like <laughs> i know i'm home a lot but no okay so on my list i have the base I don't know how to say it weekender that you guys just saw the air tags that i mentioned for when i absolutely have to check a luggage because i swear to god every time i check a bag and i like drop it off at the uh the bag drop off i say goodbye to it forever i'm like i'm never gonna see you again <laughs> ever and then i'm like obsessively checking its location to see if it like made it on the flight it's just it's an issue so i'd rather get some air tags yeah i think i'm gonna get like a pack of four I should put one I, I don't really lose my keys like that because i have like an entryway in like the hallway when you first walk into my apartment so my keys are always there where would i put the other air tags i don't know i figured out maybe my wallet i really don't have a wallet though like i have a wallet but i never use it whatever uh uggs i want to get why did i just do this <laughs> i want to get the house shoes and i want to get the mini the ultra minis i don't like the platform ones that everybody likes i feel like it gives very much frankenstein and once i saw it i couldn't unsee it and i feel like my feet are so big i would literally look like frankenstein with my size nine feet not for me so i'd rather just do the ultra minis which are perfect for my cankles you know and then i also want to find i have this on my list i have miss lola on my list um, because this tiktoker i think her handle is woe kenzie or miss kenzie i'm not sure i think it's woe kenzie she has big calves like me and she was talking about how she has these miss lola boots that fit her calves perfectly and it's so hard for me to find boots that fit my calves so i'm gonna try to see if i can get some boots from there or something because like i want to be cute like the other girlies you know like but my problem really isn't with the thigh high boots because i could squeeze my big old football player calves into some thigh highs it's really the boots that cut at the calf or like the knee because then i have spillage like a bra it's like the most ugliest thing um maybe i'll show you guys later when i try on some stuff i think i have a package coming in today <gasps> what is better than it being black friday and placing orders but also receiving them love that for me this video isn't sponsored, but I kind of want to do a little try on haul for you guys because I have other content on like other platforms like TikTok and Instagram. That stuff is sponsored, but YouTube wasn't a part of my deal this time, or like my contract. It's preparing for delivery. It's 9 a.m. It should be on the truck by now. And I think it's like four boxes worth of stuff. So yeah, right now I'm going to make myself some eggs. Uh, I'm gonna watch this back and be like, why the fuck did you think it was a good idea to film yourself looking like this, Ange? It is so ugly outside. Let me show you. Look at how gloomy it is. It makes me not want to get out of bed. You can't even see the city right now. It's so foggy and gloomy. Um, but yeah, let me eat some breakfast, finish cleaning up this mess because I am the worst. But. I'm not like other TikTokers that will literally scrub the floor to film a 30 second clip. This is who I am as a person. So I made my little egg sandwiches, just two, oh, is this cheese? Two biscuits, 
with some scrambled eggs and mozzarella cheese and it is so good but i'm watching wednesday on netflix i think it just came out but i'm like addicted to it already like the cinematography and the show it's just like a beautiful like show to watch and i didn't think i'd be wanting to watch something so morbid and so like halloween like around the holidays but i love this i actually used to date an actor and um watching a movie or a show with someone who acts is a completely different experience because they point out things that you wouldn't normally pick up on and i'm picking up on so many of the things that i would talk about with him or he would mention to me and it's just so crazy and it makes me enjoy the show so much more um but yeah that's just what i'm doing right now i had to put this shade down because it is so bright but also so gloomy at the same time it's so weird um, but yeah i'm just feeling very very sluggish today so we'll see we'll see what the day brings i have no business being in front of a camera right now but i just wanted to talk about this show because i love it so much but my camera is dying because i didn't charge it yesterday after filming all day so i'm gonna charge my camera clean up my kitchen and hopefully my packages will be here soon so we could do a little unboxing because i got such good stuff hopefully they included everything that i wanted otherwise i'm just kidding <laughs> my fashion over packages are here low-key i feel disgusting i'm even out of breath that's how much food i ate yesterday i can't even walk <sighs> low-key i feel or low-key high-key i feel disgusting and just like large and in charge and i was about to eat lunch and i was like let me check to see if my packages came in and fashion nova did so let's unbox together huh yes we got packages for me you guys look how cute these boots are oh my god these are so cute i hope they fit my calves though because these look a little toyed toyed like a tiger but this is a two-piece skirt set and i really got it for the skirt but like this is giving you guys i feel like this is gonna be the best package i ever received from fashion nova because this set just set the tone like what it's giving like kim k courtney vibes the skirt is super long I look like trash right now, but if you could look past that and just look at the dress, this is stunning. I'm obsessed. Ah, okay. Let's try, oh, let's try on the next thing. New Year's, Christmas, hello. Where are we going? Invite me somewhere. I'm probably just going to be on my couch. But like, I know you guys can't see the length. It's so perfect like i have this dress in white without sequins and i got it in a size small and my boobs did not fit so i was way more realistic this time got a medium the waist part is a little big but everything else fits so perfectly oh, i'm obsessed a win is a win a win is a win this is for real the best package that i've ever gotten well not gotten like i picked out everything but like I was so in love with everything that I picked out. This included this little satin, this brown satin two-piece. I wish I didn't look like trash <laughs> today because I feel like, oh, did I just rip it? Oh, I did a little bit. I ripped the seam in the back. <laughs> like the little slit when I bent down. This is very, very thin material, but it's also really, really cute. The waist is a little bit big on me, so I don't know. I did try on two other dresses, but I can't show you those yet because they are like, when I tell you, they are the most stunning pieces of clothing that I own. Like, stunning. And they deserve their own moment, so please forgive me. But follow me on TikTok because I will definitely be posting those very, very soon. Like, 
So I just had to wrap. Whew. I think like next week I'll shoot the content for those. Cause so just so amazingly beautiful. So amazingly beautiful. I'll give you I'll give you a little sneak peek though. Hold on. Like you know I'm coming through with some holiday goodness. Okay, so this is the sweater with denim on. I don't think I'd wear this sweater with denim cut like this. I think I want something a little bit more high-waisted for this look, but still cute, still giving. And I just love fashion over jeans. I only get the ones that stretch though. So I checked the description. I don't know if that's just what, what is it called? The little like product details. And now Fashion Nova has like this. I can't think of my words today. Oh my gosh, I'm so slow from Thanksgiving. Um it's like a meter that's like no stretch, low stretch, medium stretch, high stretch. I only teeter totter in the medium high stretch range. Low stretch and no stretch is not for your girl. I've never found a pair of like true denim, like true non-stretch denim that fit me. I would have to get everything altered. So that's very annoying. So that's why I go for the stretch. And these are like very high stretch. What are these called? I ripped off the tag. Yeah, I ripped off that tag, but these, these are cute. All right, we're still going. You guys, I told you this package is a straight fire. Like everything, all hits, no misses. I got this bodysuit that's like the Naked Illusion ones. But I hate the ones that have like actual nipples and like pussy hairs. <laughs> like, where are you wearing that to? But this one, it's kind of more like a heat map type of thing. You know, where like, it's giving body, but it's not giving like, Pussy lips. Like I wish this video was sponsored because I'd really be getting my coin right now. These pieces are, no words, no words. Okay, so for this next dress, I actually bought this because my ex is coming back to New York, I think like next week. Um, and we have dinner plans, we're just friends. Let's not get carried away. And it's not the N word, so stop it. I know some of y'all are like fixing the guy. Oh, she's back with, no different ex um this ex is my london ex i dated him earlier this year decided that we were not good for each other <laughs> and now we're best friends and he is coming to new york because he's always he's always in new york he's he has a movie coming out and he's filming another one um and usually he's in town for like a couple days so we're gonna go out to dinner anyway long story short i got this dress for that and it's this dress Ooh, right here just this really cute knit midi i wanted something really simple um because yeah just wanted something simple and comfy and what do you guys think i really really like it it fits me really really well and i look so pale in this light right now or maybe that's what i look like in real life but thank you thank you okay Thank you, that's better. Giving me some golden hour. God heard my prayers, anyway. <laughs> okay, so next up, we have this purple two-piece, which I was like, maybe I should wear this instead. And then I tried to walk, and it's one of those dresses that you literally have to like, this is, this is as fast as I could walk, because the bottom doesn't stretch like that. I would really have to like force it, you know? Or maybe I can't force it. <laughs> this looks so funny. I feel like my legs are going crazy like this. I don't know. Really, really cute though. Okay, so I guess I didn't get bottoms with this outfit, which is so like me, but it's just this turtleneck. I would show you what's underneath, but um, I'm not wearing pants. And this jacket and this furry little bag. Now I just need like a leather mini or something i don't know how to figure it out like the skirt situation but super super cute okay so this is the skirt from the first set sh <laughs> the first set i showed you guys but this top i got separately so i wanted to get this top and wear it with this skirt which is why i bought that first set or this first set in the first place 
and I love it. <laughs> it's giving everything I wanted it to give. So now I have options. And I also got this cardigan that doesn't go with this at all. <laughs> but I just want to try it on. Oh, it's beautiful. I just wanted like a cardigan to like throw on, wear around the house, wear out. I love robes and like comfy stuff, but I didn't have like a cardigan like I could throw on. And I feel like that's really important around the holidays. Now that I have family to spend time with, all I have is my mom. Yeah. All right, that's it I think. Um, my mom is coming over soon to have leftovers with me. Actually, I don't know what time she's coming over. I might just eat now because she might take a while. She was just getting up. Like she's feeling sluggish today too. It must be like a Thanksgiving thing because we just had so much yesterday. And now today we're both like dragging ass. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have a quick little lunch and then wait for her to get here. We're probably gonna do some Black Friday shopping together. And that's it, just another super chill day. I love that I don't have to worry about work or anything. Like it just feels really, really good to have the day off and just be a slob. So love it here. And I'm back. It is now Cyber Monday. A few days have passed since I talked to you guys. I pretty much spent the weekend deep cluttering. I almost said deep conditioning. <laughs> deep cluttering deep decluttering decluttering deeply whatever i've been cleaning my house okay my office has been pretty much unusable since i moved in because i had that incident with my movers and if you don't know if you're new to my channel when i moved into my unit a year ago my movers stole from me and long story short they only stole my airpods and my charger but the day that that happened, I literally had to unpack my entire life and let the police know if they stole anything else. Luckily they didn't, but it left my office in complete shambles and it also gave me PTSD. Like that room forever reminded me of that day and the chaos surrounding my mover stealing from me. So I finally decided that it was time to go through everything and like reorganize, declutter. So I've been doing that for the past few days. Originally, I wanted to do Black Friday shopping online, but then I was like, historically, Black Friday has been for in-store deals, and then Saturday is for small businesses, and then Monday is Cyber Monday for online deals, and then Tuesday is Travel Tuesday. So I was like, maybe I should wait until Monday because I feel like a lot of brands, they will, um, try to get rid of all their inventory by the end of the weekend and then increase the percentage off. So I waited and I'm glad I did for the most part because it is 9 p.m. and I'm starting so late because I was completely derailed this morning when my misogynistic, narcissistic, egotistical ex-cast mate decided to tweet throwing shade at someone else and include my name in it and I have no problem with men getting into it because that's what they do boys will be boys but why do you need to disrespect five women to shame one man I'll be so for real right now I just it kind of like threw me off this morning so I was like what the like what did I do to this person like please I really just stay minding my own business. I feel like I've retired from not only reality TV, but all the drama surrounding it, and you're gonna drag me right back in. So when they go low, I go to hell. And I did a TikTok about it, and honestly, it feels good to be back. So maybe the old Angela is back after all. I think I'm gonna do a story time on TikTok about this, honestly, too, because this, this just got me hyped. But that's neither here nor there. That's a different story for a different day. I am going to share my screen with you guys right now. So we can do some shopping together and basically um, I want to walk you through my train of thought. Duh. I lost my train of thought as I was trying to find the words train of thought. Walk you through my train of thought and show you what I'm getting. I am going to do a really big unboxing when all this stuff comes in but I just wanted to shop with you guys right now because you're all my besties. Okay, so let me share my screen with you and also delete some footage from this camera because it's showing I have three minutes left and this is gonna take way more than three minutes, so please hold. Okay, so I am recording my screen 
so you guys could shop with me and i'm starting off with miss lola okay so the only place that i ordered from and it was like a spur of the moment type thing and i ordered it last night because i saw that they were running out of sizes and i'm so glad i did because my size sold out and everything <laughs> that i bought i went to miss lola and i went to their wide fit boots because there's this girl I follow on TikTok. Her name is Kenzie. She has thick calves like I do. We actually have the same size calves. 16 and a half inches, baby. I know I'm thick, okay? I always have trouble finding boots that fit my calves. And the boots that I can find that fit my calves are not cute. Like, they all look like Peter Pan slash pirate boots. And, like, I want to be cute like the rest of the skinny girls. Like, I want to wear boots too. <laughs> and so... She was talking about how she found these boots on Miss Lola. She got these. Oh, let me see if I can find them for you guys. Because um, I already placed the order. Like I said, oh, that's not even the right one. Hold on. She got these like thigh high boots. She got these, but in brown. I wonder if they sold out of these too. If they did, I'm low key going to be happy that I ordered last night these oh no they still have almost all the sizes so she got these these mocha over the knee boots like these thigh high boots and she said that they fit her thighs so i ordered them in a size nine and then while i was here i was like they have a wide fit shoe collection here why am i doing this and my thing with wide fit shoes is like my foot my actual foot is not wide it's my calves it's just my calves so i don't want like an entirely wide fit boot that i'm like sliding around in the shoe like i don't want that either but i found these and these look these look like they're gonna be chef's kiss okay the zelma boots and i'm so glad i ordered because they, look they're out of my size um these are knee high boots and they're wide fit and they have a 17 and a half inch circumference opening which are going to be perfect like i already know I'm gonna love these and I knew I was gonna love them so much so I ordered them in black as well and yeah just a sexy boot and they sold out of this size too I originally wanted this brown pair but they've been sold out of my size in these when they come back in stock I will pay full price because I already know I'm gonna be obsessed and I also got these booties where are they right here I got these booties because I love a sock booty. As a larger calf girl, like you live in these. <laughs> you ab oh, I just spit everywhere. You absolutely live in these. And for 30 bucks, like you can't go wrong. I already have a black pair. Not like this, not like the actual sock material, but like a nylon stretchy pair that I've like worn down to the sole. So I'm not gonna get like black again. I'd rather get nude. So I got that. I think those are the only pairs that I got. Did I get another pair? Did I just get those three let me let me see yeah oh no i got four the two wide fit zelma boots and then the mocha thigh highs and then the maven booties that you see right here so yeah i got those those shoes now moving on to my next store that i did not order from i'm buying hair extensions because I'm removing my sewn in well they're not sewn in beaded wefts i'm removing them next week and i'm cutting my hair and you're probably like angela why are you doing that and you're just gonna buy extensions i like options i like to style my hair in different ways i like short hair long hair ponytails braids like all of that and i can't do anything with this hair i could barely put it up in a ponytail the only reason why it's in a ponytail right now is because i'm talking to you guys and i don't feel judged by you but you could clearly see all my wefts out all my beads out i hate it so much hate it uh not saying i won't put them back in i will probably put them back in in time for summer but now i just i need a break my scalp needs a break my nails need a break everything just needs a break so i like the op long story short i like to have the option of having long hair and short hair and all that this brand is one of my favorite hair extension brands ever the wefts fit my head so nicely they're so thick they blend so well and i got them the last time i got them i was blonde so i definitely need black ones so i'm going to i know i need the quad clip-in extensions 
So I'm going to click that. And I know I want 20. Like there's no point in doing 16. I'm either going to go long or not at all. And their cyber sale, I forgot to tell you, is 20% off. So I'm going to get this one. Yeah, 20 inch quad, 265 grams. That's a lot of hair. And I need it because I already know I'm getting a blunt cut. It's going to be short. And yeah, it comes with eight wefts. It's 100% Remy human hair. And they have like a really nice selection. I always get natural black in all my extensions. Um, I don't get jet black because my hair isn't jet black, believe it or not. So 290. So let's add that to my cart. And then I wonder what it's going to be like the discount. It's probably going to be like $50 off. I know their shipping is like 25 which is kind of annoying, but they are. Oh my God, I'm hurting myself. Okay, obviously, I'm not going to show you put in all my info, but... I should be getting a really really nice discount so next up we have naked wardrobe which is an insanely overpriced brand and i rarely buy anything from them at full price because you'll see so for cyber monday they're having 50 percent off their best sellers now look at these prices like a pair of leggings 50 dollars you're out your mind a legging set 75 doll hairs i think not but i'm getting this <laughs> i am getting this because it is 50 percent off and i really want this set in white so we're gonna add that to carts um what else do we have there's another set that i wanted jumpsuits are always hit or miss for me i want this one this t-shirt set but I'll get it in black. Because $72 for a set. The quality is good. Like, I love Naked Wardrobe's quality. But I still can't justify that price. Like, it is a t-shirt set for $72 doll hairs. So for half off, that should put me at about $36. Which is much more reasonable and doable. And it's still a lot of money, but it is what it is. I also want to check their sales section because I feel like they might have some things that are more than 50% off. This is really cute. I think I'm going to get this whole outfit. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get this whole outfit but it's just this is just the top i have to find the leggings too that's another thing i don't like about shopping on naked wardrobe it's so hard to put the pieces together like the way they organize them and like some pieces will be on sale and like the like say the top is on sale they won't put the bottoms on sale like why would you do that why, why would you do that why wouldn't you put like both pieces on sale so we can get a full outfit do you think you're fooling me because you're not <sighs> honestly i hate to be the grinch but i feel like a lot of black friday and cyber monday deals are a complete scam because you can get 15 percent off just for signing up for their newsletter or entering your email or your your personal information you get 15 percent off but then they want to be like oh it's black friday you get 20 percent off now that's an extra five dollars off if you spend a hundred dollars i also feel like they use cyber monday and black friday as a way to get rid of their inventory that nobody wants so they'll be like 75 percent off select pieces and it's like those select pieces are the ugliest pieces you've ever seen in your life and that's why they haven't sold so basically you're doing them a favor by buying that shit <laughs> So, but you best believe I'm still going to shop regardless. <laughs> I want to find those pants and then I'm going to be good. Here they are. These, um, these boot cut pants. Let, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get these boot cut pants. That's more than enough. That's three outfits. It's $2.25 before the discount. Let me see if I could put the discount in. girl why are you asking me my date of birth so i got 73 dollars off for a grand total of 150 that's still a lot of money for three outfits but i keep telling myself the material is good so we'll see how these look when they come in next 
All right, I'm gonna order from Shein. I'm gonna do like a pretty hefty order from Shein. I have worked with Shein in the past, but I wanna do like an unsponsored video um, doing a try on haul because I just feel like sometimes I wanna go undercover as like a consumer and not an influencer. Cause I don't know. Like I wanna see how their customer service really is when they're not like paying me to promote their stuff. And I wanna see the quality of their clothes when they're not sending it to me directly. Cause you hear stories like influencers get better quality pieces or like they, they just get a completely different experience, which is absolutely true. Like as an influencer, like even my ordering process is different. So I kinda wanna see, so I kind of wanna see what Shein is all about undercover. So I'm gonna pick out some stuff um, but I'm not going to show you what I'm picking out yet because I want that to be a surprise. But just know there's a Shein haul coming very soon. Next up, your girl needs some slippers for the house because I'm walking around barefoot right now and it's just not the vibes. My toes are cold. I wanted to get Ugg slippers, but they all have bad reviews. Like about the fur wearing out. Oh, also, I ordered from Uggs. I ordered from Uggs. I ordered Uggs. I got the ultra minis in gray and I pre-ordered the chestnuts. I don't know how I found a website to pre-order, but I did. They're sold out again. They should be coming within the next month. But yeah, I'm like really excited about that. But Ugg doesn't make like good slippers according to their reviews. So I found this. Well, I didn't find this brand. I actually used to love this brand like 10 plus years ago. And if you remember, you remember the Minnetonka moccasins that had everyone in a chokehold in like, I want to say 2010, 2011, 2012, chokehold. Okay, my calves could not fit in these boots for the life of me, but I squeezed them in. Like I forced them in. There was no give to these boots, these moccasin boots. Let me see if I can find them. Hold on. I need to find these boots. Oh my God. These! Oh my god, the three layer fringe boots. I had these exact boots. I wish I could find them. I think they got destroyed in the flood though. These boots. These boots had me. These boots had me. What was I doing wearing these boots? Anyway, apparently this brand has really good slippers. So I want to get, I already know which ones I want to. Ooh, my back hurts. I want to get these. Where are they? Where are you? These, the frosted scuff. These look so comfy and soft and just yummy for the winter, but I want to get it in this stone color. And they still have my size, which is perfect. And they're only 25 bucks because they're half off. I love that for me. There's also a pair on here I want to get for my god daughter it's like unicorn ones she's into unicorns right now i would like to say that i put her onto unicorns because i got i made her this like whole unicorn gift basket but these are so cute of course i'm getting her the pink ones because hello steph if you're watching this don't <laughs> I guess it's too late anyway, but these are so cute. Just as like little house shoes, I'm like, I die. Oh my gosh. Last up, we have Base. Now me and Base have beef, okay? Because over the weekend, they were running these deal of the days where instead of the 25% off that they had running for Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all that, instead of that, you got 50% off the item that they that was the deal of the day, which I thought was a really cute idea. They had this like QVC theme going on and I thought it was like really, just really fun and fresh. Tell me how every day I waited until noon with the item, whatever it was in my cart, I wanted the weekender, the mini weekender, the mini convertible weekender, right? Every day I had that item in my cart at noon for the deal of the day, it sold out in Point two seconds like it was such a scam and I was so pissed off because I get it they're trying to build hype around their brand the products and drive more traffic to their site but it's like dangling a little piece of meat in front of a pack of wolves and then just watching them fight over it I just feel like a lot of bots bought the bags according to them there were 500 every day that were at that price but I just I just don't I just don't believe it 
I've had my heart on this bag for a long time and I really searched for another dupe and I just could not find one. They had, um, there's a few on Amazon, but they don't look that good to be honest with you. And they just like look really cheap. And because Amazon is catching on to the fact that these bags are trending, the prices are going up. So if I'm gonna spend $40 on Amazon for a cheap bag or $80 on base for like the real thing, I'm just gonna spend the extra money on base even though I'm pissed at them. This better be the best bag I ever got. But this is the bag I'm talking about. It's the convertible mini weekender i'm getting it in black even though i wanted it in this color which is beige because in all the research i've done everybody that bought the beige bag regrets it because it gets dirty so fast and there's really no way to clean it because this material is like a canvas material and it's not like nylon where you just like wipe it clean so yeah but what i love about this bag is that this compartment on the bottom is not only removable it's perfect for shoes and i am the type of girly that likes to travel very very light i find that when i plan my outfits well and i know what i'm gonna wear like and i plan my jewelry and all that like my vacations are just so much better and so much more relaxed and i also don't like checking a bag and this is like really really big i fit a lot of clothes in here a few pairs of shoes there's even a laptop sleeve so this is the bag that I got, but in black, so I don't have to worry about it getting dirty all the time. I really would have liked the beige one, but um, I just, I get my bag so filthy. It's just going to be a complete waste. So that is going to be my last Cyber Monday purchase. I'm not going to even say that. I can't be because it's only, <laughs> it's 9.30. I'm probably gonna lay in bed and do even more shopping i also got um my goddaughter two gift cards one to carter's and one to target that's obviously gonna go to her mommy so she can shop today my goddaughter's birthday is in a week she's turning one on december 4th so i just wanted to make sure that she was good and got clothes for cyber monday <laughs> Thea's got to take care of her, okay? And that's what Thea does. <laughs> but that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me this weekend. I loved hanging out with you guys. We have to do this more often. I'm thinking I'm going to cook for Christmas and have my mom come over. I promise I won't get up this time though, okay? I still cannot believe I left the gizzards in the bird. Oh, oh god i can't believe that i can't believe i did that like i mentioned i'm gonna do a full unboxing of everything that i bought so if i wind up going to bed later and just sitting on my phone and ordering more stuff you can definitely plan on having all of those items in that haul it might take a couple weeks though i don't know how fast everything ships but i promise i will try <laughs> i promise to try not to why am I crossing my finger? That means I'm not going to do it. I promise to try not to open these boxes as they come in. I'm not saying I won't. I promise to try. Okay? Try. But that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you. Ooh, not me. I almost broke my camera. See you in the next one. Bye.